hey guys welcome back to the channel so yes i wanted to start this video by showing you how it goes behind the scene but yeah we will be doing the reproduction today let's get into the video and uh yeah this is an inspirational video uh i saw this set on instagram i don't know the creator so if you know it you can mention in the comment i will be tagging and yeah um i liked it so i wanted to reproduce it but i didn't have no milky uh acrylic I call it milky but it's milk white <laughs> so i go ahead and diy myself i take one scoop of a uh, white acrylic and actually took four spoons of uh clear acrylic to do this um mixed because it was still pretty pretty white to get even though i put four it is it's still a little bit too white but yeah i went ahead and do that shake 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 and i obtained the milk white uh, acrylic color that I desired and to accomplish this set it wasn't too complicated I use model ones since I bought and I have it so <laughs> I had to use it but yeah that's all I'm doing I'm using everything model one even the brush and the brush let me down you guys like it's I need to get me some good quality anyways today we are going with some square tips and <laughs> I never did square tips before until now like crazy but yeah but before that i protected my nail with some base coat as you can see because i kind of chipped off my nail last time that i took off my own cow design nails and it was really painful so i decided to start putting base coat before doing my nails so that's what i did then i cured it and once i finish i'll go ahead and wipe it off with some alcohol pad so it can create a layer between the nails and the acrylic you know so if i decide to pop it off it won't hurt me as much as it did last time but that's all i did and i buffed it up so i can be able to glue on the tips without it being too much of a struggle that's all i did then i went ahead and proceeded gluing the the tips on buffing shipping and then we'll be starting the application of the acrylic and i go ahead and you know start with the primer and yeah i just wanted to put primer just in case i was going to keep this nail a little bit longer but yeah because of the base coat i know it won't be too long maybe a week or so and yeah we'll be starting the application so what i'm doing is still using the upside down method that i showed you in the previous video i'll be popping up the picture right now and yeah i go ahead and try to build up the apex on the smile line and the nail tip you know so it can be strong then i'll be going ahead instead of starting to build my uh my nail tip on the tip side i will be trying to have a flush cuticle just a small layer then go ahead and build the whole nail but yeah a little warning i'm sorry you guys i think while i was recording i didn't pay attention my son was pulling off all my cords <laughs> of the light so i had some kind of flash you know going on i didn't see it until i started you know editing and there's no way i can cut it off without you guys you know not being able to see but i fix it you know later on but I'm, i apologize because you know that's the life of a mom <laughs> working at home you know but anyways that's all i do remember upside down and yeah push up to the cuticle build the apex on the middle and smile line and then build the tip and then you can go ahead and encapsulate if you you know encapsulating in this case i didn't because you know it would be <laughs> a waste of time but yeah that's all i'm doing you guys and i will let you watch that and jump back in
then afterwards I go ahead and start shipping the nails even though the nails weren't too much needing of a shipping I just wanted something kind of crisp you know so I go ahead and ship it with my uh, nail buffer the 180 grit bit sending bin <laughs> you know <laughs> anyways so that's all i do then i make sure the cuticle is flush which was kind of flush you guys i just i'm sorry if you guys can hear my son in the background he is five five months now and he's in this stage where everything needs to be screamed at so <laughs> forgive me anyways yeah um i'm shipping everything make it crisp so we can start it won't be complicated i won't be doing too much i just finish shipping then go ahead and start applying the rhinestones and then that's it you guys i won't be taking too much of your time Then after we wash and you know clean everything, I'll be going ahead with some matte coat and the uh, beetle nail glue. I'll be using everything beetle actually, and this is how I store my um, my little figurines and my, my decals and my foils and everything. I have two of them, anyways. So that's all I'm doing with some butterfly, as you can see in, on the photo inspiration. So I go ahead and uh, put the matte coat all over the nails. It will be all matte all uh, around. I won't cure it until I put the butterfly so it can adhere really easily. Then I go ahead and cure it for like 60 seconds. And I go ahead again in another coat of matte so you can seal it. Then we'll be going ahead and putting the crystals. So that's this simple, you guys. I'll be letting you watch that.
and this is the final result you guys again a little bit of cuticle oil never hurt nobody exceptionally me <laughs> anyways thank you so much for supporting you guys for all of you 405 subscribers i love you guys so much and yeah if you have any nail design you would like me to do dm me on instagram nightly nailed it i'll be responding to you always this is the shout out section you guys thank you so much for being here every week and supporting me in the comments i appreciate you for the love and support you have no idea love you guys thank you so much for being here with me supporting me i will support back love you love you love you always see you in the next video bye bye